Now in this part we've got to sketch the graph of f of x and we already know that f of x equals x to the 4 minus 4x minus 8 and in the previous part then we factorized it to this. So how do we go about sketching this using these results? And we also found that it had a turning point, remember, at 1 minus 11 in the second part of the question, part B. So if we're going to sketch this, what I would do, would we'll just set up our axes, something like this. Okay, x-axis, y-axis, don't forget to label those. And first of all, I'd want to find out where it crosses the y-axis. Well, that's when x is 0. When x is 0, either put it into this one or this one, it's up to you, but this one's going to be the easiest one. It's going to give us minus 8. So this graph co crosses at a point down here, say, let's say that's the point minus 8 just mark it in minus 8. We also know that there's a turning point at 1 minus 11. So again we just put 1 minus 11, let's just say it's down here somewhere. Put it there, okay? 1 minus 11. Now it's a positive x to the power 4, okay? That means it's basically a kind of u-shaped graph and we can also use this fact that when it's factorized we know that it's going to cross the x-axis when f of x equals 0. So in other words we've got either this factor equals 0 or this factor equals 0. Well clearly when x minus 2 equals 0 x will equal 2. So it's going to cross the x-axis at 2, so we'll just mark that point in as 2, that's a significant point. So we've got a turning point here, it's u-shaped, so really all I need to do is sketch something in like this, okay? It can't have any other stationary points because we would have worked them out before. So it's got to be a graph that comes down like this, through the minus, whoa, not very good, is it? And then back up, something like that, okay? I think this uh, hasn't come out that well, so we'll just try and tidy that up. Still not coming out very well, okay? Quite difficult to draw, okay? Right, it's going to look something like that. I think my stationary point there isn't very clear, okay? We'll just enlarge that, there we go, at 1 minus 11. I'm sure that would be sufficient though to uh, get the marks for this question. Now it also said sketch in the graph y equals the mod of f of x. So might as well take this opportunity here. This is part E of the question and this was part D. So what would this look like? Well, essentially, it means that all y values are positive, and the y values down on this stretch are, go are going to be negative at the moment, so they get mirrored in the x-axis. So if I was to try and draw this in green, okay, we'd have basically the same graph. I'll just draw it slightly to the side, but it's really meant to be on top of it. There you go. Okay, and then it comes up like this and then back down through the two and then we've got this stretch here. Alright, so the green graph then is y equals the mod of f of x whilst the red graph okay, is the graph of y equals f of x. This point up here, well worth mentioning, is going to be at 1, 11. And what else do we know? This point here where it crosses the y-axis, when instead of being at minus 8, would be at plus 8. Okay, so that should give you some idea, I hope, of the two graphs.